been out in oh several weeks maybe even a month um got really busy with uh doing some archery deer hunting uh for the archery season and this is the very first time that i have my new simplex out and um i came out to a field that i did oh i don't know maybe almost a year ago there's a video of it where I found a large scent and some older Indian pennies here. Now this field has been hunted pretty hard and that's why I wanted to come back here and kind of test out and see what this thing can do. Um, still learning, lots to learn, but I did find a flat button before and now I just got a an older spoon bowl. Looks like it's got a crease in there. I don't have a lot of time. It's going to get dark pretty soon. I've been out here about an hour and I've been kind of digging just about any decent signal. I'm uh, just trying to learn this machine. This thing is a hot rod. I mean, it picks up um, and trying to figure out what it does is a little bit tricky. Um, I'm impressed with it so far. It's picked out several uh, targets. I, I dug a bullet about nine inches deep and the bullet was just a little bit bigger than a 22. Um, so I'm still getting used to the settings and to the numbers that it gives me. Uh, one thing off the bat, I did get the, the SP24 coil for it and it makes it lighter. The only thing I don't like about this machine so far is that bottom shaft down there. It's kind of wobbly. Um, I've heard that from other Simplex users watching YouTube that that bottom shaft should be replaced. They make a carbon fiber shaft and that will, uh, kind of take care of that flexibility problem it's a little bit flexible now this field here um there's a lot of these weeds and stubble that's growing in it here and um you know when you bounce a coil off of that stubble those of you that hunt in like cornfields and things you'll notice that a lot of times your detector falses a lot you get signals when you bounce off of something and with this so far uh i haven't been really noticing that it hasn't really been a factor um, still learning how to quiet the machine down, ground balance it. Um, so there's a lot to learn. But so far, this is the first uh, hunt that I've taken this thing out with. And um, I mean, I did take it out in the yard uh, and had found a few modern coins in the yard that I have already detected many times with my Garrett. And, um, you know, it picked those out, different signals, obviously, but it did pick those out. So we're going to keep going here a little bit i don't have a lot of time like i said and uh we'll see what else we can get out of here but so far spoon bowl and a flat button and that's it so far but i know there are coins here so we'll see what happens all right see you on the next okay guys still out here and uh next good target gonna be a flat button wasn't even giving me that great of a signal i really really got to play with this thing and get it get it figured out but Hey, it's the first time out and we're finding stuff with it. I'm not sure if that's a Tomback or not. I'll get it cleaned up. Part of the shank is still on there. But we'll get that cleaned up. Take a look at it when I clean everything up and do a wrap. All right, pretty cool. Still find some stuff. This was right almost on the surface. So, I don't know. This field is a little bit of a conundrum, but... I've only been here, I don't know, maybe twice, so, uh, I don't know, we'll see. All right. Well, guys, as you can see, I'm in snowy northeast PA. This looks like it's the end of my metal detecting season. Saw in those last couple of clips um, where I had the simplex out. Only got it out for a day, not even really, just a couple of hours, but where I'm at, just about a foot of snow here. I know there's some places up north where areas where i've gone metal detecting that they've gotten over two and three feet so season is done for me uh, unless we get a january thaw and it warms up a little bit but unfortunately this is it so i'm gonna do a quick wrap up show you the stuff that i found uh with the simplex and i will probably put out a little video of this year's highlights maybe in a couple of weeks but until then, guys, stay safe, and uh, we'll see you soon, hopefully. We'll see you on the next hunt, which won't be for a little while, but I'll try to put a video or two out in between of some different things. But All right, take care, guys. Stay safe. Merry Christmas. 
All right, guys, just a quick little wrap up on those previous clips you saw. Um, this was my first hunt out in the field with um, the new Simplex. Not very much. I was only out there like an hour, hour and a half. Um, but the couple of little things I did find, a little uh, iron knife, another piece of iron thing here, a little copper spoon bowl. I got two flat buttons. I think they're both Tomback. Um... This one's pretty neat, a little coat button there, and this one's kind of beat up, but like a small cuff button or something, and a few little pieces, odds and ends. I noticed one thing, the Simplex does pick up on these tiny targets here. Um, it gives some real good signals on these, on these targets, these small things. Um, there was a couple other miscellaneous scraps and things, but nothing... Nothing too great. This, I think, are pieces of oil lamp. I um, think this is maybe part of where the wick went through, the oil lamp. But overall, um, I like the machine. Uh, obviously, still have a lot to learn with it. And it's you know very cold now. The ground's frozen. Uh, we've had a foot of snow here already. And uh, as you saw in that last clip, and it's already melted already. But uh, very cold. I think right now, as I'm as I'm doing this wrap up, it's about 19 degrees out. So, see, and definitely the end of the season for now, unless we get some some thawing. But all right, uh, that was it. Quick wrap up. Thanks for watching. Um, go ahead, hit that like and subscribe if you like the videos. I really appreciate it. And uh, we'll be a little bit slow for the next you know the next few months while it's. Uh, pretty cold out. I'll try to get a few videos out. I'm still working on an on a compilation of some of the better finds from this year and I'll try to get that out soon within the next week or two. But all right guys, thanks for watching. Hope you have a great safe holiday. Stay safe out there and we'll see you on the next video.